Hey there and welcome back. In our last reel, we discussed how to evaluate the length of the fibula. In this reel, we'll discuss the rest. Let's start with the evaluation of the syndesmosis. There are two parameters, the fibifibular clear space and the fibifibular overlap. The fibifibular clear space is the distance between the posterior tubercle of the tibia and the medial cortex of the fibula. The normal value shouldn't exceed 6 mm. The TB fibular overlap is the distance of the anterior tubercle of the tibia overlapping the fibula. It should be maintained above 6 mm. Both parameters are measured 1 cm above the plafond. So, this means there is a relationship between the clear space and overlap. On a healthy radiograph, the TB fibular overlap is greater than the clear space. While on a syndesmotic injury, the clear space will be greater than the overlap. Moving on to the evaluation of the lateral displacement of the talus, we have a single parameter, which is the medial clear space. Medial clear space is best assessed on a Morris view. It's the widest distance between the medial aspect of the talus and the medial meiotis. A medial clear space greater than 4 mm is considered abnormal and indicates a lateral tailorship secondary to medial lesions such as deltoid ligament disruption.